Hi everybody, welcome to the Home Birthified Home Birth Supplies uh, video. I'm going to try and make this quick. I'm using my flip phone for, like my flip camera for the first time, so forgive me if uh, I have some technical difficulties. Anyway, here's the list of all the stuff that I wanted to have ready for the baby. So under my birth, home birth plan. So there's lots of things. Most of these are standard, what you would see most midwives or hospitals or birth centers would give you. So I'll start at the baby section. Here's our little area for changing the baby. Any of the creams that I use, this is my favorite bum cream. Works really well with cloth diapers. Um, thermometer and just some other the usual baby care stuff. Here's our change pad. Right now I have it set up um, like you would for uh, when they're checking out the baby. So I actually have a heating pad underneath the change pad. Um, just so if baby is on the little cool side, since it's going to be a November or December baby, they can go ahead and turn on the heat on low. I also have my It's a Girl or it's a boy. Little tags on their first outfits and of course they've got socks and a hat and a onesie with all of those which you've already seen. Over here I have my baby scale. My first, uh, he had trouble gaining weight so I have my own baby scale so I don't know if baby will be in the weight hammock or if they'll just use that. My blood pressure cuff and stethoscope because I check my own blood pressure at home. Head massager that I absolutely love. These are dirt cheap. I got mine at a local bookstore for less than $5. And then this is my still point inducer. That's a cranial sacral tool that uh, people often use. So over here is where we have the birth, home birth stuff. There's my camera case with my nice camera for my doula to use. Here's a bucket for bailing because we're planning on using a birth pool. I also have my tarp um, to go and protect my floor. And then these are the fleece lined um, tablecloths. And usually when I rent out my birth pools, I just go ahead and include a tarp. But uh, Uchi Gucci Goo posted, I think on her home birth supplies list, about putting this on top of the tarp because the flannel can absorb some of the uh, water and it feels a little nicer than a tarp alone. She suggested getting the PVC free um, tablecloths. I couldn't find any that were super cheap. Like most of the ones that I found were in the $20 plus range and I didn't want to spend that. So I actually bought these tablecloths. They're the nasty, nasty PVC ones, but I, I aired them out for about two months in our garage. So we don't have any more off gassing to worry about hopefully. So in this bucket, this is all the home birth supplies for a home birth water birth. So I have um, my clean sheets to go underneath my bed and then I have this new cheap flat sheet to go on top in case I end up having the baby on the bed and I don't want to get the bed dirty. Um, I already have my waterproof liner on the bed because I always have one um, when I get close to due in case my water breaks. In here is the bowl that I plan to use for the placenta and a bunch of washcloths either for cold compresses or for warm compresses for my perineum. I've got a ton of towels as you can see. I think here, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. I also have six downstairs on top of the dryer already for the midwives to put in to warm up once the baby's here. Along with that, I also have about six receiving blankets and two baby hats. So they'll all be warm when the midwife is ready. Perry bottle, which is magic. Um, I'll show you my homeopathics in my hospital bag video, but uh, I put calendula, a couple drops of that, in um, the bottle every time that I fill it up and that really helps with perineal healing afterwards. Some all-purpose cleaner should they need it. 
I've got some old undies and the pads to go along with them. I've got some olive oil in case I need that for perineal massage. I've bought that for every birth. This is my third and I've yet to use it. Uh, hydrogen peroxide, should we get any blood on any of the fabric in my bedroom to help clean that off. And a nice flashlight for the midwives. I have Ziplocs for the placenta. Um, we are planning on encapsulating and that should, uh, we'll just put them in there when we're ready. Some garbage bags. In this bucket I have a whole bunch of leftover uh, Chucks pads or some people call them blue pads. I also have two more packages of them which I really don't anticipate using but I found um, last time if I didn't give them away to other people I knew who were having a home birth um, then I just um, use them for changing pads. So that's everything that was in that little basket. And then I'll show you really quick the birth pool. So here's the birth pool. It's currently in a hockey bag. These have the nice professional bags that came with them, but they were kind of crappy. So in this bag, I have the birth pool. So I uh, have the Aquaborn Professional, and I love it. Um, it has the heat retaining lid. It also has a liner with it. And um, if anybody's interested in a birth pool demo, I'll definitely put one of those up. Um, showing different positions and how to fit a liner. In this bucket is everything you need for the birth pool. And this is what's standard in my rental kit. So I have instructions, I have a sieve for scooping out any nasties, I have all the tap adapters you possibly could need. Usually I have at least three options for my clients when I rent them. Okay, so I have um, pool thermometer, little bailing bucket, uh, duct tape because you never know when you're going to need it. There is a little fishy uh, scoop, little fishnet. The sump pump is right here. This is the hose to empty. This is the hose to fill. One thing with birth pools, it's really important to use a drinking water safe hose to fill your pool. I know a lot of people don't and they don't think it's a big deal but the bottom line is, is with a, a hose like this or a regular garden hose it's usually lined with petroleum products or PVC and when that is heated it leaches into your water so you're essentially taking a nice hot bath and birthing your baby into a pool that has things like lead and petroleum products in it and of course that's not ideal so um, yeah drinking water hose is a must and that's my own personal little rant. And then over here we have the pump, the pump to fill the pool with air. And the Aquaborn's really great. It takes less than 10 minutes to fully fill it. Quickly you can see our crib with no sheet on it right now. I um, didn't want to put the sheet on until closer to the due date because I don't want to have to change it because it's all dusty. All of my children get a new ice bat. So this is our third unique ice bat and then a Peppa doll that we have. So that's it guys. I hope uh, it wasn't too rushed or disjointed and I'll be back and make a little video of my hospital bag.